and and having some fun but uh obviously it was due to that good positioning which uh you know it, it's something to be said about his talents here so excited to see if he can keep that up on a, on a map that rocket aren't as comfortable on here yeah it actually would be a real testament to this team and honestly this win if they could lock it in would make me feel a lot more confident in this squad again they, they have an rmr to prepare for in just about three weeks time and while these last couple of qualifiers have not been kind to them how that is for rocket maybe getting a good start here in ecl maybe getting some running room is good flying out towards this a site it's a little one for one action with the dual berettas nero's gonna hold this threat angle though doesn't even need to move his crosshair now has to be aware though with these closer angles and eventually will get traded out but then there's a left the next line of defense but unable to escape whiz on these pistol rounds we have 2v2 but a fast flank as well gonna try and get the move on in bomb safely gonna be planted at least inside the smoke so now this starts the timer up against the CTs here to move quickly here, and they are moving quick. Micro. Back of dice. Just to group up with Wiz, but oh, I even find the timing peak. Well done. And escapes A. So without a kit and in a one versus two, this should be near impossible. And it is basically impossible at this point because that bomb's about to hit that 10 second mark. And he's going to have to call and hold on to his armor if he can even do it. Micro will deny him. And there's another opening pistol for Carpe Diem. Nicely done. The closeout. Faster A play right there. Catch them off guard. That's what you're hoping for here. Immediate force by gets called once again, though, for Rocket. They do like their force buys. Looking to keep the pressure applied. Tossed over for Nero. Look at all the tools. Will they be able to use them here? Three MP9s. It's quite a pit. Go for the triple boost? Oh no, just oh, the no, jumping I... MP9 maneuver. I, I, for some reason, this works out way better than it ever should. Ah! <laughs> but wow. uh, the RNG, the random number generator, does not benefit. A left this time around, and so late. So fly forward and oh, awkward angle there for news too. This is a much calmer start for Carpe Diem. They might just walk away with this one all five standing. That's funny because I feel like I never see it work. That's uh, I I usually don't see it get punished like that from Micro, because that was incredibly quick spin, <laughs> very fast reaction, but. Usually it does end up just being like, oh, I did like 15 damage, and that's about it. Sometimes teams will try and combine that little jumping play with uh, aggression from short. And that's where I think things looked a whole, a whole lot better, but... Don't get much in this round here other than maybe Nero selecting. But Micro never gives them the chance here, he's happy to... Live on this round with 1 HP. <laughs> Trying some jumping shots of his own. I would have laughed pretty hard if uh, he died of the bomb there, though, on 1 HP. Yeah, yeah that would have. A little classic CS2 bomb radius. But fortunately, he was safe. I mean, feels a lot more confident here from... Carpe Diem as well. Felt like they're walking in any sort of setups. I mean, Overpass was a good map for the Unjustified team. You can run a lot of the same things. Especially with the core, Arcade. Kind of back on the calling. The lake though, stepping forward. Ah, oh, and he's gonna hand his back to him. Tough beats on the timing. Also, Seb. Ooh, this this one's a little bit weirder. Uh, eventually, he'll get it across the line, though. These SMGs trying to farm up. We'll lose one on the out. But other than that, it's you know smooth. Oh, uh, I don't know what to say about that. Oh, wait a minute. Um, 
Wait, they're gonna give this a go. Surely, right? I would not be saving here if I'm Emiya. There's plenty of time remaining. I mean, RK now is gonna take some steps forward. He's gonna go down. Oh, man. There was a chance. He's gonna try for the defuse. It's not gonna work. Oh, I think they could have really went for that. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like if he would have ran around that corner, though, he would have just died either way. But I, I get where you're coming from. It could have been at least threatening in that 2v2. Either way, even if they don't win the round, they do take everybody down in a 2v5. Or 2v4, rather. So. That uh, Carpe Diem playing fast and loose with their economy. Not something you want to do here. Heading into the first gun round for the rocket. Not quite the HE trajectory you're hoping for right there. But on a fast path up catwalk. Micro surprises. Good for one, but then traded. It only takes That's down the MP9. Yeah, it's only MP9, but it is a lot of information that two more players reside on that B site. So can start to make some guesses. About where the rest of the defense lies. Let's see a little bit of a long setup. Start to move quickly. Got Nero ready with an AWP. Got a lot of resources, in fact, on this A side. Ready to defend. The one close to rotate. Ah! Take place Wiz just can't seem to jump on top right there. And 33 seconds left. Not a lot of time to cook. And the walk up long, it's actually going to be pretty devastating. No information on this play. And Nero's off. He's going to put a number on Stab. And now feeling awkward, but then just able to readjust. Players walking to do his crosshair. And Emiya with a necessary shot. A left now walking through. And Wiz could not connect. To give him time for that bomb plant. Rocket going to find their first. You're already with this op antics up on the A side. Delivering an impact big time. So like you said, that long setup looked beautiful. It looked perfect. But as soon as they th start throwing some utility down, Nero immediately finds one of those players walking up connector. Finds the first, or actually the, the first pick in the like 4v4 and able to adjust the defense accordingly to deal with that long pressure on the fly they're still buying here still flying up short side once again micro and arcade the ones to do it ton of early control Kind of see the slow progression here from this T side, working every part of the map. We're done with short. We've got a player established there. Now working towards bathrooms. If that gets a little predictable, though, we might be able to see some adjustments from Rocket. Again, Nero's op is still in the server. Great smoke as well. Gray screen, but Lake still makes good on it. Still, though, maybe not enough. Arcade, oh, he's going to call his teammates back, and it's a perfect double setup right into the trap. Go, Rocket. And the bomb off to that B site. Nero will get one exit kill, but that's that. Carpe Diem, they might be down players, but they still have backup plans. Yeah, that's a really good readjustment right there. Even the, the first contact being taken inside connectors, so things work out beautifully. Or arcade in the squad. 
As they take that space towards short. You mentioned it at the beginning of the round there. But he just plucks his position. Just posts up for the whole round. Waiting for contact to be taken. Waiting for his A players to get active. They throw a little execute. They throw a little lurk smoke here there. They dive through. They get an entry. Cues up some aggression towards short side. He's ready for it. With his teammate's support there. Perfect situation for... Carpe Diem will net them a fourth round. But again, still with an arrow off in the server, so... He positioned himself. You know, one thing more difficult about Overpass is that, yes, the angles favor the ops, but it's also a huge map. And you can get out positioned pretty quickly with that AWP. So, some games you can find tons of impact, others, you might not even see a player. And it's looking like it in this route. Arcade back of Kondo. And, I mean, dang, man. Clean position. I was doubting for just a moment. Yeah, the, and then he walks right into his crosshair. Like they always do here. Nero already rotating in as well. Out. I left for your other. He's in the back of sight. Looking to defend. But they're running blind through the smoke. Yeah, that's not the help. Eventually, they find the kills that they're looking for. And quite a bit of them. As the numbers get punched in here. Blank, though. Just Never mind. Dealt with. Removed. And do you even try this? If you're in your right mind, you might say no. If you're in EU, you might say no. And an A. Because they say no as well. Nero and A. Gonna go ahead and head out of this round. That's a 5 1 T sign start here for Carpe Diem. Ooh, and the hunt is even on. Now, Thunder Stomping, Micro. Spots both remaining players. And Lake is also doing a resurface. Nero's not going to miss, though. So, guns held on to op still in play and even can drop over a couple guns. Rocket can still stay competitive. They can still get back into this half. But uh, the round differential is starting to grow. That is... And it's already a good T side here being brought together by Carpe Diem, building up this sort of round count and having so much more to play with. It's fantastic. And that round, I feel like they didn't even do a lot wrong right there on the side of Rocket. You let Nero kind of work with some pistols and or some MP9s rather to try and find an opening pick. He does that and then bam, he's instantly rotating towards A. His A player throws a molly to try and disrupt the execution. But Carpe Diem know the opportunities that were ahead of them right there, and they never hit the brakes. They never let Rocket resituate from that early position. I do like to see that sort of confidence come through from Carpe Diem after a pretty tough first best of one. Step. You know, they wanted to take some steps forward on that map of Ancient, but now they're actually finding gaps in the defense. Now look at this. Great timing. Nailed here by Seb. Jiggle Peak is good, but Seb's better. But it's still trying to find win conditions here. Closing the gap. MP9 up close will work on the micro. And so two go back. Rocket somehow collect micro and Seb. Got to rely on some other pieces now. Arcade making a solo mission out towards B. This is a bit wild. But with the man down, need to do something a little bit crazy. He's going to get some support. Ooh, and two there instant headshots. That's what you want to see here for Carpe Diem. 
all these individual fights being won, and you know that's that's why the lake's on the team. <laughs> and the oh, wow. Dave strikes true as well. Hero, I've seen this before here. He's getting on his game time arc. The same hunting presence lake. How did he already get here? Just threw an HC a couple seconds ago. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> when this guy is on the save, he gets like plus 20 accuracy. Plus 30 speed. Yeah, I guess I can see the comparison there, Cole. That's just wild. Able to hold on here, despite nothing could pry him from his op. But really, what Rock need a some runs on the board here. Again, that's a man advantage that they had. Like it's. Ripped from them within a second. Just two quick bursts of the AK, then it's a double. Ooh. This time, though, Wiz gets his revenge. That has to feel good right there. Catching Nero. This time, Nero walks right in his angle. Yeah, this time, Nero, oh, is getting one up right now. News also, uh, I mean, he saw the barrel, but Micro cleans up his backup. You know, a walking through with. With the buckshot, but it's gonna have to deliver a one versus three. He's trying to speed up the pace here and almost catches Seb, but they're off to the A site. That bomb's gonna get planted, and this round's gonna be over. See if he can scoop up an AWP on the way out. This round just ended quick as well. Yeah, I mean, two kills from Wiz, two kills from Micro, and it's over. We're off to another save. We're off to seven for Carpe Diem. We're dominating this map. Spotted. We're late on another save after <laughs> Oh, he managed to dodge it though. Yep. 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 Let your frustrations out, Lake. Yeah, and it's I deserved. think he certainly has some good entry work so far, especially in that previous round, cracking open the B site, but also just a 7-1 commanding T side lead. Carpe Diem are finding unique ways to win every single round. Once again, and Rocket, I will say, have had trouble dealing with the early map control. They change it. Oh, oh my, my God. See ya later. Wake up from that right there. It's going to take a little while. Lake absolutely levels Nero. But that actually allows for a flank. That actually allows them to discount the entirety of the A site. Oh, they don't get to take you going quick. This is going to be a problem. Flashing to go through and pushing forward. I mean, do they even need the flank? It'll activate forward, but everyone drops here. An amazing opening kill. But then the whole map gets closed down. And look who's even pushing still. Who's this is gonna catch Arcade looking sideways and Rocket will route through this round. Has to be an awkward field right there. You, you get the opening duel right there in that sort of fashion. Then nothing else comes of it right there for Carpe Diem. They have a bomb site for it. They get taken down piece by piece. So Nero, even though he has been a large bit of responsibility for you know some of those rounds won on the last map here, he gets knocked down. But there's other pieces that are stepping up here. That'll be what's necessary. If you're Rocket, you want to close out with five at least. Once again, short control. And also, once again, Rocket. I want to take some angles in towards his playground position. And look at that. Emi sees a gap. 
his team's own smoke. And surprise, Lake meets his maker once again. And Carpe Diem, the map has just been compressed against them. The pressure is going to have to break. They have to overflow somewhere. And it probably just has to be this B site. Let's see if they rush into things here. I want to take it slow. Still utility being tossed, dispensed. Right now, double up on the right side is risky with one flash being, being able to disrupt it. Just one peek there, it's easy work for news. Okay, he spots two players right side monster, however. But I love this re-clear from Micro, actually. It is truly not what is expected at this rate. Jump swap forward, and oh, Nero is just going to be able to spin his off around, fire one in the back. A wins his duel, and Rocket are back with some gusto in this one. Just seven on one versus five in 15 seconds. This one's done. Every duel being won here by Rocket towards the very end, and <laughs> revenge for the body spam, I will say that. Yeah, you gotta be careful when you're sending that out. Gotta make sure you keep one off the back of it. But either way, Rocket starting to build up some foundation in this half here. Sharp ADM not too concerned though. They know that they have a healthy lead. They head into a full eco with a multi utility here. Pike grow. Got two flashes. Oh, they can't get past that. They can't get past that. That is easy pickings right there for 11. The rest of the squad there. And all of a sudden, Rocket found a foothold into this game. It's going to go down to the last round of the half, obviously. Carpe Diem gets a bit awkward. News calm on the taps. But... These three rounds in a row, this could have just been simply a runaway in certain situations, but Rocket switched it up. They started to get aggressive towards that party side. It's paid off the switching game plan, and it's actually gotten them in a playable position on this map. This could get a bit more devastating for Carpe Diem. They had a 6-4 to four lead over there on Agent. Could have been 8-4. to four. Went neck and neck, and then a blowout. Don't want to see that again. This far, too much momentum heading into that second half, that's for sure. They close out four in a row. Give themselves some room to work with in this second half. Key sad rounds, they don't come easy on this map sometimes, so. Every DM starting to hit the wall here. Nero. Under lake, lake down again. That's all just to start things off. And now even playing the headshot angle over the smoke. But able to show a lot of presence. Still holding a 3B setup though. Not enough to lure them away. Micro just going to hand his back to this graffiti player. And... I mean, hoping for a weakened defense, but instead, still multiple players in position. Man advantage going for Rocket. But look what Wiz has gotten up to. Well, I'm down in very neutral location. How far can Wiz take this advantage here before they're aware? They seem like they're clearing out these positions, but you're not going to expect it. Or are you? Oh, absolutely. Nero certainly is. And I mean, that's curtains on this round. I mean, there's nothing you can do. There's just simply nothing you can do. The CTs know exactly where the rest of this play is coming from. News in position. Perfect pop flash to follow one up as well. And Arcade going to run right into Rocket, who will get themselves four rounds in a row to keep this round, keep this game very close. Very close.
And so, Rocket with four rounds in a row. It's enough breathing space to get themselves into the game. Some rock-solid defenses and some good aggression sprinkled in the mix. Back in with the game plan, back with some wind in their sails, and... Oh, they can hand a gut punch to Carpe Diem. I'm fine, Drummond Cole, Edgar McHenry, our last half of the night here in this little back-to-back -back BO1 bout. There we go. This around. Looking for Carpe Diem to try and secure at least some sort of victory in the night. Get a nice win underneath their belt. Split it up even. They got the CT side to do it, which I think is something they're looking forward to with the foundation that they set in that first half. But Rocket gave us some fight. Towards the tail end there, so that's what they're heading into this half with. That, that little power that surge that they got towards the tail end. And they might try to surge out from long instead. Oh, Lake just saw the bomb, but there's, I mean, the road are so darn far away. At least he'll be able to collect one. Uh, this calls for a retake. Probably. And he might not even survive. They're going to chase him down into bank. Now, uh, might want to reconsider swinging into multiple different players. Yeah, Emi, I will get that information. Get out. Oh, in the meantime, though, news. He's on a massive off angle. Blocks. Inside a bank, trying to dispense a couple of kills. Emia will do that. And News as well picks up a double and makes this very tough for Wiz. He does have a smoke and a kit, though, and it's playing a reverse side of dice, making things awkward. And a left can't convert his kill. There's a serious chance here, but inside the smoke, News, he's landing the shots, and eventually he'll get it. Rocket with the pistol to kickstart that comeback. Scrappy as it gets right there in the clutch, but. It is converted by Rocket. They will close it out there eventually, and... News. I wanted to do it here. Now, again, I think the reason out of the gates as to why I really like this roster and the, the potential that they're bringing to the table here is, is this News guy feels like he can do a whole lot for his squad. He can be a massive difference maker. And uh, right there, stepping up big time. But on these T sides, I can't be where he does his best work. So we'll see if he steps up in that department here once again. We're about to have a tie game from up seven to one. Funny little nade stack. That's being prepped. Maybe some uh some footage watched. But also, this nade stack can be pivoted over to the A side if they try to play it. Best way to avoid those HGs is to not go B. Oh, they're going to all scramble. Oh boy, this is going to be a bit of a bloodbath. Aleph's going to take out the caboose of the train and. Gosh, Nero, he wants some uh, fundraising for that AWT. It's the charity fund for him. And there you go. Cleans up two kills and pockets 1,200. You betcha that op might be... It could be... He could stick with the MAC-10 here. But it also could just be in play for this round. I'd like to see him cook with the MAC-10 here real quick. And then get the op out. Imagine you do that. You know, get Mac 10 down on this round. Bam, he gets the MVP in the next the statement. But actually gets an AK instead. Sent his way. Let's see the rest of the squad can get done with the Mac 10s instead as good utility damage early. Molotov will flush the lake out. He can't stick around. He can't afford to, at least. Just have to bail. Quick long aggression, though, and we'll see if Wiz is prepared. I mean, he has to be good on the double kill, but also he needs to be good on the trade, and they group up together. Swinging is two, but a great spray transfer from Wiz. 
to get a double player advantage, but things could e get even more awkward. Seth, oh, I thought he'd be cleared, but instead, I'll at least be good for the one, and man, he takes a lot of damage, but there's a refrag. RK taking too many steps forward. 2v2, 2v3, rather. Problem is here, Cole, the bomb still in spawn. Gonna go for the frags, though, and that might be all they need. News with an instant headshot. Round the smoke, though. Micro underneath. Gonna hand an uppercut. 40 seconds to think about this for A. Puts it into a possible round, at least. Putting it into a 2v1 right now, but... We'll see what... Sort of repositions from Carpe Diem get thrown down right now. You see that small adjustment back over towards that A side here for both of these players. They will be in a spot where they can hear the bomb plant and quickly move here. A Molotov and adjust a smoke, if you will. There you go. He faked out the bomb plant at least by throwing the smoke. Nate! HE should do the trick. It will! Headshot angle now as well! He's so close! Hey, that was a really solid fake on the smoke there, baiting them to spam it. So unfortunate, it doesn't work out in the end, but tons of damage as well. Lovely attempt right there. I, I like that idea, right? You know, never know exactly where the, uh, with the bomb plant noise from, from a certain distance. You're not 100% sure. You'll just spam the smoke as your first instinct then. Not a bad game plan. Almost wins him the clutch. There's 10 HP left. Either way, they will find themselves back onto a lead here. They win the first gun round, but obviously plenty of money to still break through here for Rocket. They got cash. Walt can really be hurting here for Carpe Diem. They do drop in this round. I think in Carpe Diem's head, they feel like they should be beating this opponent. I mean, I can just kind of feel the frustration from Lake yesterday. He wrote a very frustrated tweet. Now Wiz will get boosted up, but this gets awkward as he gets spotted. Oh, a left will see him. Headshot delivered for the one in a second. And I mean, honestly, Cole, that could earn a death slam for me. This round's over. And it gets worse. News collects another headshot. And we're going to go high game here, Cole. And News is going to make it hurt. Got a little bit of pain to this one. It's micro. On a sprint away. And Mia. Oh, on his tail right now. No guarantees that he saves. That'll certainly help though. Rocket gearing up for a tied scoreline. And you know again taking even more advantage off of that. With the lack of reserves for so many of these players. Micro's even going. For the swing here, and wow. we, I'm not sure about that. I understand the confidence, you know, playing a part in it, but right now, I mean, news has been hitting heads in these past couple of rounds, has gotten himself up to a, a high score line, and Rock have been handing out some punishment. Double eco terror. Couple of these plays are not going to, they're gonna full save. Lost Point should probably cover it if they're at 2400, so. But either way, Rocket very likely gonna take a lead here as they just spam down the USPs. That might be your cue to lead right there. It is. They will take that hint. Yeah, over towards B. Aleph is just gonna be the sole player sticking around. And honestly, that AK is just gonna save. Up seven to one at one point, and then Rock started hitting everything. They're now in the lead. That is pretty wild. This would be a frustrating loss. I mean, yesterday they kind of got blown out on their own. 
against Fluffy Amers. Again, a matchup that I think these players believe that they should be winning every time. Name value says it. That is for sure. This killed the very next day. You don't want to go down 0-2. I want to start off season frustrated. It's not how last season started here for these guys. So far, this T side's flowing from Rocket. They're starting to get a feeling for things here, and still, this money leaves Arcade. He, he prioritizes the utility, but. Best firepower here, Lake. Thought maybe he'd want to get more aggressive, but no. Just gonna take a more passive approach on this A defense here. start to get heard and a left also just gets info on two players like Seb is in some serious trouble now gonna tuck himself away but oh micro has the backup a very awkward T side smoke uh, micro will just use against them that's helpful beautiful double up here for micro but what out. there's nobody on the B site news has now discovered this He's gonna walk for it and find Micro as well. Whoa. He gets the third! News showing up here and deleting Carpe Diem in a situation that it's like a guaranteed win. They're up 3v5. Oh my god. Not the first time News has done that. This time he just adds two to the tally here. He could make it four. A nice even number here for him, it seems. But oh, Blake. Is he able to track that? Is that going to bait him into making this a retake? Uh, giving it a go, it will. He's going to try. Oh, but it's... I mean, it, it doesn't feel good. Lake has no utility. And two players over towards short. He has a mountain of a task here. And time is ticking. He's got to get on that bomb defusal. And now... And he's hoping that they'll just leave... He's going to start the defuse, but no way he's going to be able to pull that one off. Nero's going to drop him. A catastrophe. Oh, Rocket will lose all their guns. I don't think that matters to them. Harpy Diem are now down 10-8. That's a CT side that I was mentioning. You know, the, the problems on the last map here. Where they just can't close out man advantages. So that time they have two of them. It's a 3v5, and News somehow manages to find an MDB bomb site after that. That's just so shocking right there, the amount of real estate he takes. And a 3v5. That's the one thing you can't do right there, is get those sort of opportunities. And it's gotta be feeling weighing on the side of Carpe Diem as Rocket closed... Closer and closer to 13. And look at this. I mean, at least Carpe Diem have some win conditions. And this Rocket are closing down this game. But you do have Lake beginning this long flank. Full-blown execute here on the A side. So despite three players, it's going to get weird. Playing off a teammate here. Arcade doing a solid job. And now the nades start to really rain on through. But then there's Lake. He strikes in the back. Can he get a third? He can to keep him in this round. Keep him in the game. Absolutely mandatory. Uh, now 1v3 needed from the superstar here for Rocket. Wow, what a play from Lake right there. Routing all the way through connector for the long flank. But News could be the guy to save the day here. He's the right man for the job. That's 
first. It's easy. He also gets info on the next. Nate, gonna go deep. The time working against him here, but he spots out the next. And are you kidding me? 10 seconds left. Arcade's gonna start spamming the smoke. The dual Berettas, two and away, but he's gonna be able to escape and get the plant coal. It's not hey, good real. Good spot as well here on top of it before Arcade can ever make a move. 10 second defuse, both players low. This one gives News the advantage. I mean, just a massive advantage as well. Arcade has to reveal his position by tapping that bomb. He's gonna drop a smoke on top of it. And the spam's gonna be good. There's a 1v3. That's devastation for Carpe Diem. Nah, now it's News just living in their nightmares here in these rounds. Just terrifying them at every step of the way. The round spirals out of control because Lake lands the perfect flank, the perfect opportunity. And honestly, in that 1v3, I don't know if they did a lot wrong. I don't think they even did anything wrong. They just couldn't seem to track him. He had too much utility to work through that round. And he's playing too good of a game right now. I mean, it, it's also just been these last three rounds. He walks out B, gets a solo triple kill. 1v3 in this one. I mean, you talked about it earlier in the pregame, and I'm wholeheartedly with you. News is such an asset to this team. And he, he is kind of one of these newer players. He hasn't been in the ECL rodeo like... Like a player like Nero and Emia have over the past couple of years. Newer to the scene, but taking over the server. Absolutely. Last couple of rounds have just been wrapped up in a bow by him. Can he continue to do it? As they're heading towards this B-side, he's going to be utilized again. He's going to be set up with a flashbang. Flying over top. Arcade just going to get bulldozed. And Seth can't even finish his meal. But then Micro wakes up. Gets a double. And then the rest of the train, the people who threw the utility arrive. And oh, finally, Carpe Diem able to hold on. And you betcha Nero's off the save. Gas to no chance he can do much in this round here. News only one able to chirp up with a nice entry there, but the defense holds too strong from seven micro. They will really kick it into gear right there. What did seem you know surprisingly easy right there? The no uh vault off landing in barrels. That's a bit of a shock in terms of like the execution utility and what they prioritize. But either way, it gives them a big advantage in terms of the positioning to play off each other. Yeah, maybe hoping that it would be a more forward setup. You know, double monster is what you're looking for. Also, I mean, in these past couple of rounds, Carpe Diem haven't played any players towards barrels necessarily. So, you know, maybe trying to go for a bit more of a faster more explosive approach. Oh uh, yeah, it comes back to bite him. So Carpe Diem, hold on for just a little bit. Deficit is down to two. Trying to slow things down. Wiz, more confident, same with Lake. Getting aggressive on these A-side plays here. Maybe some more confidence being felt right now. This angle being held, but Lake gets it first. And even some extra damage as they went out in these early A-duels. Yeah, but look at this. Oh, no. oh my goodness. Oh, no. News up to no oh, good, oh, 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 oh. but Seb will finally put down the beast. 3v5 for Rocket. I see setting things up here. Last time they were in a 3v5, they had News alive to bail them out. This time he has to watch from the sidelines, so someone else has to step it up. 
on the side of Rocket. Who's it gonna be? You know what Nero's capable of? He's pinging on the ground saying, crouch here. Moving over. Jiggle P. Uh, oh, oh, and Lake playing with fire. But that gives info on two players and, you know, when there's only three left. It has to be going from one direction. Full-blown util set coming through. Wiz in trouble, standing in the flame. He's burning down to 15 and now forced off the site. Seb, though, runs through and gets so much damage downrange. Bomb plant, it needs to be established. Someone's got to get it in. And as A drops, one is looking very over, and Nero will not be holding on to this AWP. Micro comes through with the double. And double digits hit for Carpe Diem. We're still having a game here. That uh, we do. Despite Carpe Diem losing so many frustrating rounds, they hang in there. Enough to topple the economy and very, very likely tie things up right now. Impressive stuff. You go rolling out here. On the side of... Rocket. What they got for us? Gonna try and just snake it up the bathrooms. Could work. Lake is feeling a bit awkward here. He's gonna make a lot of footsteps on the ball back and he's gonna get capitalized upon. Uh -oh. oh no. They don't fully claim the site though. They're just trying to get Carpe Demon to panic and they sure have accomplished that mission. They are in a panic now as they go back towards the B side. No need to rush things if you're Rocket, you got a 4v5, you got a gun picked up, you got something when you started this round with nothing. A little boost action here. Trying to just get the eyes here on a micro. Trying to move between the angles. Oh, that made a lot of noise. Two players coming through from Monster. And the double set of holds. Crisis averted here for Carpe Diem. We got a tie game at 11. All rounds of regulation required. We go the distance here. This second best of one on overpass. Winner gonna close themselves out. One chance to seal it in regulation. Who is it gonna be? Carpe Diem showing up here recently. They've given us a couple of rounds to be excited about. Rocket, not a team that's gonna go down quietly. Carpe Diem now really stamping their foot down on map control. I mean, they are really looking for fights on this. Double set up in towards bathrooms. No more of this passive nonsense. And you can see it. Arcade finds success onto a left. All down cues being thrown by Lake only lures them further forward. And, and what are we seeing here? A full five stack towards B? Just one player here whizzes off over towards Truck. They have short control as well. Extra rotation. Definitely a bit of a shock here. And Wiz has a really tough job at hand. And this flashbang might just own him. The shadow, though, gives it away. Pops the shot into Nero, but can't deal with Emmy up close. Instead, he gets the double entry, and we might look at another map point for Rocket. But a three versus three might 
Tell them to say go, micro. Smoke spam not good enough. Instead, the USP will do. That's a chance. Something to grapple onto here for Carpe Diem. But news is still alive and in the server, but he will be quelled. A retake for Carpe Diem. They will be getting Matt Point first. Uh, fantastic retake coming through there. Micro just infuriating Amiya there with that smoke play and managing to close out a crucial kill giving them map point unlikely as well i mean that rotation off of the a site when they have full short control and two players still on b is wild it's a wild call to make there but they get bailed out by a great retake from the b players rotating in so good look Carpe diem, but can they close? They got the momentum. Now they just need one to seal it. We're Still playing off the confidence. Sorry, they're up seven to one, and it almost, almost cost them. Oh no, you gotta fire the shot there. Not what you want to see in the last round of regulation. Chance to open things up right there. Just slips through the fingertips. But this this could be quickly redeemed. No, that flash isn't going to go deep enough here. Lake, Lake is out in no man's land. Around the corner, a freebie for Nero as he lays claim to an opener. Yeah. And the A side is getting engulfed. Lake has just been more so read it upon at every single turn as well as Emmy. Uh, again, gets up close. Bathrooms. If Wiz isn't clearing his corners, no, but he is diligent on it. We'll answer one back. He's still got all this info here. Spots out nothing towards A, so they could quickly decide to rotate towards that B side. Now that they know. Flashing through. We're going in. Double setup awaits them. Seth good for the first, and then the second. Arcade burns down A. 2v4. And Wiz, all he needs to do is to stop them from leaving. Drop a molly on the door. They have to go B. First good and Arcade. Is his position no? He's playing back of the pillar. Helped out by Micro. And Carpe DM will sail it on in. Just bit 13 to 11. They were down 7 Or they were up 7 1 at one point. And they almost coughed it up here, Cole. But they just got within the end. Yeah, the victory not so straightforward there. Their, their path had some ups and downs, but they get the job done here. They complete at least that that split. They, they win when they lose one on the night. And that that's, uh, again, something that when you do...